Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. We are so excited to have you guys. Funnel Hacking Live is done. What does that mean? What was the experience like? What happened? That's what we're going to catch you up on. So we're going live just to go live really quick because, as you can see, our booth is down. They've taken our booth down. It is gone. It is not there anymore. So what we're going to do is just go live with you guys and talk about everything that's happened so far as they're taking literally everything down. Like, the breakdown has begun. Uh, the experience is over. What are the things that we take away now? And do we have stuff to show you next week? Oh, yes. <laughs> do we ever. So, uh, really quick, my name is Ben Moot. This is the Leonardson. And this is our good friend, Matt Peake. Matt is here. He's an ambassador. He's brand new to the ambassadors. Tell us a little about yourself, Matt. Uh, my name is Matt. I use ClickFunnels 2.0 exclusively, helping clients build out their funnel hubs and their funnels so they can make more money. That's it? Yep. Now, you do videography stuff as well. I do. So that's I, your background. Yep, yeah, that's like my day job right now is my own <laughs> business. is my day job. Video is traveling around the country, shooting conferences and events for different people. Cool. Now we're moving into funnels. Yep. And it's a good move. Uh, it's so much fun. And he's busy already, so right? it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's do a recap really quick. Is it okay if we go backwards? Yes. Sure. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, so it's Russell awesome. ends every event with a letter to yourself. You write a letter to yourself in the future. I actually, when I came, I read the letter that I wrote to myself a year ago. Uh, and it was like one of those things I had to pause for and just feel physically. It was a lot. Did you get to write a letter? No, I didn't get to oh. yeah. So yeah. I didn't have to go through that emotion. <laughs> <laughs> was, yeah, it was really cool. People were coming up and like dropping their letters in the bin and you could see like they were, it's a, it's a deep thought process. If it's not something you've done for yourself, dive it. I highly recommend create yourself a little mini time capsule um, and set your goal and put it out there. And then talk to yourself in the future and say, so what have you done? Get on it. <laughs> All right. Um, then what happened right before that? Then we had an Andy Grammer concert. Yeah. It was, you were front row, was, right, Matt? No, I, was, <laughs> I was in the back. It was, it was I was huge. out here because it was really loud. <laughs> it was really loud. That's, all, that's the way I, I, I could hear the music clearly out here in the Tell us your experience being in the front row. Oh my gosh, front row, is the, that's where the party's at. When you're up there in the middle of it, jumping them down, they have these like light up uh, foam things everywhere, yeah. waving them in the air. It was so, it was such a great experience. The concert was a 10 out of 10. It was like, so, so we launched it and like, we played like three songs in a row. Yeah. And then he goes, hey, click funnels. And then like came back and like came to and then like got out the guitar, played on the a little bit and then started to play some of the favorites that we all know. Yes. Um, and so it was fun. It lasted like two hours. Yeah, it was a, it was a good movie. It was a two hour yeah. 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 That's great. And, and the lights were awesome. And the sound was <laughs> like every year is amazing, but apparently, in order for Andy Grammer to perform, he made us upgrade all of it. So, like, it was. Yeah, it was, yeah. Like, it was an experience. <laughs> they swapped out the sound system in between and during the really? dinner break. Whoa. That's what I heard anyway. Um, that they swapped out the sound system so it was different. But I don't know if you noticed, like when Javon was in there, it was yeah. like a lot louder than yes. it was yes. earlier in the night. Wow. Then I think they got it adjusted right before the, <laughs> <laughs> before the music starts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was really, really cool. So before that, we had a couple of speakers. We had the, every single year you have this speaker, we had Garrett J. White. And this time he brought his entire family up onto the stage. We've never seen the whole family. Uh, we may have been missing the one and a half year old daughter. Yeah, time, she but. came up very <laughs> good. Oh, she did. Yeah, they brought oh, okay. on stage. All right. Brought, yeah. <laughs> okay. I missed that part because like they were all dressed in white. Um, they had a prayer at the end. Um, it was it was Garrett White. Um, some people were, walked away and were like, "This was so beautiful." Others were like, "What the?" <laughs> and it's just. <laughs> Garrett White. Russell did Garrett White. He did the Russell did everybody. He warns them every year. Let's expect it. Yes. But it was it was really neat to see this version of Garrett. And Garrett announced that they're doing a new show. Um, yeah. where they're trying to it's like somebody walks up to me and he goes, So are they making like the Garrett White version of the Kardashians? <laughs> Is that what they're doing? And it's like kind of looks like it. Kind of does. Yeah. 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 So watch for that. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, and then other things that happened. Right before that, Russell and Myron spoke. This is the first time you got to hear Russell and Myron. Yeah. Oh, what was that like? That was so cool. Myron, like, he just got it. Like, he's so good. Like, it's, yes. it's hard to describe, like, how he got the attention of everybody. It, it just, it was so masterful. He commands it was so, good. so well. Yeah. Yes, yeah, he commands. It was so good. Yeah. It's, it's the perfect, like, you know, like, 
Russell was like super transparent. I don't remember because Russell got up there twice today. Yes, and right. I think it was actually the, one, the first time, which we'll get to, where he actually talked about like, so here's how you sell people. First you hit them with the emotional, and then you do the logical. And so he's being super transparent about like, today we're going to like jump in to talk to you about the logical. All you, all you logical buyers out there, like I'm talking to you, like totally telling them what he's about to do. Myron is like the perfect logical, like he just writes out the numbers. He's like, look, let's think about it this way. And okay, that's in plan. Okay, let's think about it this way. But the cool thing, so I actually was watching that from one of the rooms um, on one of the screens that we had set up in the room. And all of a sudden I see that there's just this gathering of people by the stage. Yeah. And, um, and then he's talking, saying his stuff. And then he like goes down the stairs and starts leading him. And I'm like, I asked the, the person next to me, I'm like, so why did he call those people up there? And he's like, oh, those are the ones that are on the fence. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he really just like, is just walking them to the, or the back of the room to go order. Yes. Like that was super bold. Yes. But it was really cool. And I heard later that um, you know some, some of the people that were up in the front, like, they were just in this like internal turmoil of like, I want to do this, but I, I, I don't know. I haven't made the commitment yet. And some of them were in tears because they were in this like internal conflict with themselves. So, um, yeah, what were it's, your thoughts on the rest, I, on the rest of that? <laughs> I mean, I, I thought that that part was really powerful where you got the people to stand up if you know that you're trying to get the courage to move forward and to take that next step and join you down the next. That was really powerful. But I also loved the way he used the analogies of like, what, if something's going to go up, it first must go down. So you plant a seed, it has to go into the soil before it can grow into a tree. If you're an eagle, you got to fall before you can fly. Those analogies that he used really feel like, especially when he drew the line for the eagles, when they fall out of the nest and yes. they fly, he's like, debt lives down here. You know, sadness lives down here. It's right before you take off. That's where it is. And that gave me chills. Yeah. He chills anybody. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. But right before then, oh my gosh, I, like I thought. So when Neo came on, and like previous to this, in the previous days, like he got everyone riled up more than I felt like anybody else did until Ben Care came on. Oh, yes. We interviewed Ben Care. Ben Care ran with the Bulls before, like we interviewed him. <laughs> yes. Like he's just that character. He was, oh my gosh, yeah. being in that room, it was like you couldn't have scripted it better. Yeah. It was, it felt like a film. It felt like a calling. It was, oh yeah. my gosh, and the music swelling at the same time as he's called. Oh, it was brilliant. It was perfect. It was unreal. Yeah, and he's such an impressive guy. The stories he told, oh, yeah. the things he's accomplished. Yeah. It's so cool to see it. I mean, yeah, it, it's one of those things that, again, you think back on it, it's just like, wow. Yes. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's funny because, like, Russell talked about the fact that he wanted Ben there because everyone needed to experience Ben. Ben Care, I mean. Uh, wanted, <laughs> everyone needed to experience Ben Care. And uh, I don't think any of us understood what that meant. We were like, oh, okay, like, oh, Russell's doing something for a friend. That's nice. Mm. <laughs> it was, no. Yeah. Uh-uh. You want to be on that stage, even if you're Russell's friend, you've got to do something amazing because, wow. The, the, the line that got me, Y'all you know, probably know what it is. He was a kid. He got made fun of. Horrible story. He was in the bathroom crying. His mom came in and told him to look in the mirror. That line said, you're different. You have to make a difference. Mm -hmm. that was... Oh, my gosh. Because oh everybody feels different. They all, we all feel like we're yeah. on the outcast, on the edge of something. It's like, so make a difference if you feel different. Man, that's good. That so good. Well, I'm really, like, embraced thing that makes you different. Exactly. And he did, right? right? I feel like we all love him more for it. Like, because he embraced it. It's so dumb. Yeah. Oh. And then before that, Russell gave his Russell. emotion logic it's fear. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was really cool. Quick, short. Um, but it's just, just a really good day. Yes. The whole thing. It's the, all four days together. Like, so this is your second so you kind of know, but this year it was a bit different. Do you guys feel that? Yeah. That this year was different because yeah. it was like, we know Russell's always crafted very carefully with the help of the team to 
um, you know, we know that the four days are basically like the perfect webinar style, right? But this time was different because it was linchpin. It was, it was, it was like linchpin meets facilitator. <laughs> like, did you guys pick yes. up on that too? Yes. Yeah, like yes. Russell comes out and teaches something, and then he has other people come out. And, I mean, it's a little bit different because we're not like workshopping. But we, then we were given the notebook to yeah. go and workshop yes. and, then, yes. and then Vaughn comes out and hypes everybody up, gets everyone excited. Yeah. And there's a little video where Russell tells you exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> I heard I heard from multiple people this was, like, we've been here for forever, that this was the best year. Yeah. There was, there was something magical that happened yesterday when Russell finally, like, he taught the linchpin, taught every little piece, and then he came back and taught how he was going to make $100 million and walked through the entire linchpin, all the stats, how it all works in order to make it come full circle, and the minds in the room just exploded like, I get it. And he was like, you like this? It was so cool. And then today was just always that moment like, you go through all of this, and then you just have that, that moment yep. and where it just takes off and you have that elation. I remember seeing the linchpin like when it was first coming out. Yeah. And I was just thinking, oh, that's just like another like it's gonna be like another Mifki they're gonna give away or something. It's not. It's so hot. This is the business game changer. If you don't have that book, you need to go get that book. Yes. It's yes. it's a game changer. That's what the entire event was about. And it was how you built it. It's not a framework that's going away anytime soon. No. Like this is it this, is the it's, the new, it's standard. the new standard. Yep, exactly. The yes. new standard, and it's like it's the new standard that you wrap your entire business plan. Russell said at one point, "This is the plan. Like this is your business plan. It's done for you now. It's your time to bring what you have to it." Yeah. And that's like takes so much off the board of where do I start? How do I do this? It's all done. Yeah, literally just fill in the, the yes. blanks with your stuff. Yeah, it's built out. I've heard from multiple authors as well, like in the space, that like if you could do this right. Like if there's a way, to, if this becomes a movement, it's going to change everything. Oh, yeah. And so watch it because oh, yeah, yeah, Russell yeah. and ClickFunnels change in the space one entrepreneur at a time. And if you were not here, get the Lynchpin book. You need it. <laughs> Lynchpinbook.com. Um, Lynchpinbook.com. <laughs> it's really easy. Yes, nice and easy. It's worth it. It ships very quickly. You need it. Um, I highly, 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 highly recommend. It. Yeah, no choice but not to use it. So, other than that, my friends, we're going to go live again on Tuesday. So we're back to our normal schedule, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're going to be going live and sharing. Number one, we're going to do a recap and show you like all the B footage and all the stuff that happened because it was so cool. Um, and we captured so much and had so much we wanted to share with you on top of it. So we're going to do that on Tuesday. Um, and there's things that are happening very soon thereafter. <laughs> Russell's already running. So if you guys want to keep up... Make sure that you text FHTV to 208-231-3797. That's 208-231-3797. We'll see you guys next time.